Hi guys, it's Suzanne from Under the Covers and today we're going to do our top Christmas books. I can't believe it's so Christmas already, it's already come around to December, it's crazy. But these are our top Christmas books, so we're going to do it. So I'm going to do like Christmas past, so I'm going to look at older books that I've enjoyed and then Annie is going to do Christmas presents, so all kind of the latest releases of all the Christmas books. So you've got a bit of a variety of what's come before and then what is currently coming out at the moment. Um, I'm going to do this in no particular order of favouritism, these are just uh, three of my favourite older Christmas books. So to start with, um, I Will by Lisa Claypass. Um, this is um, a novella and it was originally out in an anthology called Wishlist with a couple of other authors. Um, I was originally going to kind of recommend that because it's a Christmas anthology but when I went to check I realised it's actually quite hard to get hold of. However, um, I Wish was, no not I Wish, I Will, sorry, by Lisa Claypass can be got as a separate novella um, and I really loved it. It's kind of a spin-off from her, I think it's her Capital Theatre series, so it is just a small novella, but you don't have to have read like the Capital Theatre series to kind of enjoy the book. It, it's really brilliant. Um, I highly recommend it. And if you can get hold of that wish list anthology book, I did enjoy all the other books in that one as well. It's just the um it, I think it's just out of print now and it's not available on uh, as an ebook either but if you can get hold of anything make sure you get hold of I Will by Lisa Claypass it's brilliant um, and then my next one is Dying for Christmas by Tammy Cohen um, I read this one last year and it's a little bit different it's not really a romance it's kind of a thriller a mystery oh and it just messes with your mind it's brilliant I really loved it so if you don't if you're not in the mood for like a crazy, cozy Christmas romance, then I definitely recommend Dying for Christmas. Um, it, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. Or oh, I really enjoyed it messing with my mind anyway. Um, it's definitely one if you're not quite in the mood for a romance. And then my last one is um, a sci-fi romance uh, called Ice Planet Holiday by Ruby Dixon. It's number 4.5 in Ice Planet Barbarian series. And it's kind of the humans on the planet kind of showing them Christmas. I, to be honest, this whole series, it's all set in ice and snow, so you could say the whole thing's quite Christmassy, um, if I really wanted to stretch the point. But um, I know quite a few people from Under the Covers, um, or our followers under the covers do quite like the Ruby Dixon series and I just want to remind you don't forget to grab kind of the holiday novella that she brought out probably the current was last year or the year before um, it's really good if you love the series it's just a really cute kind of slice of life kind of um, novella so those are my three Christmas past books that I've really enjoyed and Annie is now going to tell us about her Christmas present, the top three Christmas present book that she likes. Um, have a great Christmas and I'll see you again soon. Hey guys, it's Annie. So I'm going to be doing Christmas present, which means these are all releases that came out this year. So you're able to pick them up right now and read them right away. The first book that I want to mention to you is by Elizabeth Hoyt, and this is part of the Maiden Lane series. Actually, this is the last book of the Maiden Lane series, and it's a novella. So it's a really quick read that I think will get you into the Christmas spirit. So this book features two characters that I didn't know were going to get a book. Um, the hero is featured in several other books in the series, um, but I kind of forgot about him. He was just a side character, a walk-on character. Uh, that created tension for the previous couple. So I wasn't sure if he was going to get a book or not, so I was pleasantly surprised when I discovered that he was going to get a book in this one. Um, as always, Elizabeth Hoyt handles this book really well. I love the fact that there is a Christmas and holiday vibe to this book. I think it really brings the series together. I love the fact that even though this is the last book of the series, that she really rounded up the characters well, but she gave the main characters a really strong storyline. Usually in a novella, you'll find that a lot of the stories tend to get wrapped up really quickly. Um, not in this case. I do think that everything develops at a really nice pace, and that is very consistent with Elizabeth Hoyt's style. So that is my first pick for Christmas present. The next book is by Jill Chavez and it's called Holiday Wishes. This is a contemporary romance and again it is a novella. I especially love Jill Chavez's work. I think she excels at holiday reads the most. She is by far my favorite author when it comes to holiday reads. 
So this is definitely a must read if you are into the fun and flirty kind of holiday romances. And my last pick for today is A Cozy Mystery and this is by Leah Waite. The book is called Thread the Halls and this is part of her mainly needlepoint series. Um, as I mentioned, this is a cozy mystery, so it's not romance at all. This one has a more laid-back style, which I think is very consistent with Christmas and the holidays. Um, although the holidays can be quite hectic, um, this one really captures the holiday spirit really well. It's all about relaxing and moving at a slow pace, and I think Leah Waite's writing really reflects that. This one also does have a really good mystery in it, so if you are new to mystery, this is a great series to check out. It's a little bit slower in pace, and therefore I think it is better for beginners. So those are my top three picks for holiday recommendations. I hope you enjoyed our picks for today. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos from us. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas everyone. Bye!